And a good day, all of you. John Henderson Pierre of the Beverage Ramble back again with you. Another Beverage Ramble edition today from Creature Comforts Brewing Company based in Athens. The Cosmic Double, the Cosmic Debris Double IPA. Debris, Debris, how is it pronounced? Debris, I think it's called Debris. Cosmic Debris. It could be, I don't know. Bursting aroma, hop dust, var va variant or vibrant. Uh, drinkable, crush, cycle, all that good stuff. But anyway, 8% ABV. This is an Imperial IPA style using Simico and Cascade and Chinook hops. So you know it's going to be good. Uh, 4.2 out of 5 on Untap. That's their rating. Um, gets a 96 score on Beer Advocate. They love it as well. So 4.2, excuse me, 4.15 score out of 4.16 out of. Well, let's round it off. Let's say 4.2 out of 5. So they like it on Untap. 96 score on Beer Advocate. So here's what the IPA looks like. Oh yeah, here we go again. Another IPA. Not too bad. Nice little head up top. Very murky, a little cloudy. Hmm. So, typical. Bought this at uh, Trader Joe's. Well, I'll take that back. I bought this at Local Vine. I had the original on Trader Joe's, but uh, my lady friend. Well. Maybe she still is a lady friend. Maybe not anymore. But uh, my lady friend um, came by and we were talking and she had the uh, IPA. And I said, go ahead and have at it. You know, I was going to do it for a review, but you know, to make the lady friend happy. Hey. So Anyway. Yeah, smells good. Cit citrus is a little... Saying there's melon uh, scent in this, uh, melon flavored in this one. Melons were used, but I'm not getting that scent of melon. But it's honeydew melon, you know, whatever, watermelon. Mm, doubt it. So it smells good. It's a buy IPA. Hot flavor is definitely there. So let's have at it, shall we? Cheers. I had this in the refrigerator since I bought this at Local Vine. So I've had it in the refrigerator since yesterday. So. Uh, what is this shit? Ugh. Ugh. Can't do this. Can't do this. Can't. But anyway, that's something I just saw. Like. Mm. The hot flavors are there. There's a citrus flavor, definitely oranges, grapefruit. There's a little, not a big bite, a bitter, bitter finish to the end. A little bit of it, a little piney, but this is very minuscule, very min, very minor in my opinion, to, despite what they say on the website, but it's very minor. I mean, it's... Terrible. I mean, I mean, let me take that back. Blah, 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 blah. Rehearse, reverse. Um, it doesn't feel boozy, I should say, for an Imperial IPA. Eight um, percent, yeah, maybe, but you know, but it doesn't feel boozy at all. Far from that. Good, clean, decent finish. Definitely the pine flavor, the pininess is not there, but it's not, also it's not really hoppy too, so that also is another plus. Uh, 
good amount of hops, but not overly hoppy. So, the citrus flavor, definitely very small amount of mel melon, uh, what they say. There's a little pininess, again, a small amount. Good hop flavor, not overly hoppy, that's another plus, so. And it's not boozy, so. So maybe this is, I wouldn't say this is considered a double IPA, but I would say a regular standard IPA, in my opinion, but not a double or even a dry hop, despite what the can says or despite their category of it. But um, um, Creature Comforts, of course, um, had a lot of their stuff um, based in Athens, Georgia. Um, as is another brewery based in Athens, Terrapin, but they're now owned by the mother, the corporate behemoth that is Big Mama Molson Coors. So, Creature Comforts, of course, independently owned. Um, I've had their Tropicana, Tropicala IPA, which is, I think, their sessionable IPA. Um, I've had their Goose. I've had their Pale Ale, the Automatic. I've had, I've had a slew of their beers. And they've been pretty good. So, like four or five of their beers I've had since I've moved up here last June. Now it's going to, now we're in August. Whew, time is flying very, very quickly. Very quickly. that later I forgot something something just came up I said oh damn I, I gotta pay something pay something off rent's paid that's good hmm. so uh yeah I get distracted folks forgive me like this things just pop on my head just racing lines racing all the time a lot of stuff but getting back to the beer um so I've had a lot of stuff from from creature comforts um the whole the whole state as a whole i mean there's just some amazing breweries and i mean i could go right down here um uh, right here downtown norcross is not for me not far from me um i think it's two breweries two actually yeah kettle kettle rock brewing and then of course there's uh uh social fox and Sawani. there's a couple of uh, brew pubs there and they do produce their own beers and they sold in different stores that's what makes this place so, as you go in the local vine, that the spa I went to, um, they got two locations. Um, the one I go to is in Johns Creek. Um, that you can, you know, buy this, but also to have the singles available right next to it so that you can see what you want, what you want to get, and what you like and dislike. Okay, I like it. Let me try a can to see if I like it. I might buy the six pack or the entire 12 pack. Other places are not that fortunate. But in any event. Um, so when I saw this, I said, I'm going to try it. I had bought it again at Trader Joe's. And then a lady friend decided to have a swig. And I said, yeah, whatever. So, and Fortunately, wasn't there. I was going to actually bust open one of their packages. They had it there at Trader Joe's and bust open one of them and just kind of put it in there. But I'm sure the camera would have been on me and I've been like, no, I don't think we, you don't need to do that. You don't work for Trader Joe's. No, sir. Don't do that. <laughs> You'll be escorted out of the building. Do -do 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 -do. Or do -do 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 -do. Which way? Do -do -do -do. Anyway, um... So local vine paid a buck ninety nine for this. So the uh, six pack goes for I think hmm, ten nine ten or eleven bucks goes for six pack of this. So people say mm, mm, a little bit high, but thank goodness for singles you get to try it. So do I want to get this again? I definitely will. Um, food pairings from any poultry dish, Italian dish, you know, 
shrimp alfredo, you know, chicken alfredo, the cream sauce and all, or you know, or chicken marsal, you know, or a good pan of lasagna. That will work, right? The red sauce and all. But anyway, that would go good with this. I double IPA, but again, it doesn't feel, doesn't taste like a double IPA. It doesn't, doesn't have that, you know, booze like say, ooh, maybe one was enough, you know. You know, a good Imperial. Um, I do like the, the beer hug, the tropical beer hug. Um, I've had the three. I haven't had the other one from Goose Island. I'll try that when it's available in singles. Hopefully it will be when I go back to local vine. Uh, try to do all my beer shopping all at once, you know, but in any event, um, yeah, so Creature Comfort's pretty good. I've had five or six beers. If you look at my channel, you'll see, um, but anyway, really good, very excellent double IPA. I uh, even though it doesn't taste like one, but it's a really good double IPA. Really good. Well done by Creature Comfort's Cosmic Debris, Cosmic De Debris, Debris, however you want to pronounce it, but, um, Debris. Really good. Check it out. I'm going to go 9.7 score on this one. So this is right there. I'll go back on that. I'll go 9.5. So still an A overall. But it doesn't have the booziness that I like, but still a really good double IPA. So 9.4 for the debris. Cosmic debris. There you go. Johnny, this is the beverage travel tune. Keep on watching as always. Cheers. Live, laugh, and love. Shh. Debris, debris, debris. Yum, yum, yum. Cheers.